Oh, well, welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. I hope you filled up those coffee cups. We're about to dive into our world of tech and see what updates they are. Exactly. Now, I'm constantly using maps to get around, especially Google Maps. And if you've ever noticed, Google Maps struggles to accurately locate you on the app when you are, for instance, in a city with large buildings. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Well, it's because of the massive skyscrapers that are loaded with metal inside them. Uh, they tend to interfere with a compass system on your phone. Now, for this reason, they're testing a new feature called Global Localization, which uses your phone's camera to figure out where you are with the help of augmented reality. So you simply just hold up your phone and pan across the buildings. The app will then compare what it sees through your camera with what Google Street View images have been taken of the same area. Mm. It can then pinpoint where you are and will place directions on your phone that can follow, that you can follow on screen. They've also added a nifty feature to remind you to lower your phone while walking so that you don't walk into someone or cause an accident. So far, the feature is only being tested by a few users, but no indication has been made as to when it will be released officially. That's quite cool. So uh, once again, camera, Showing a lot of stuff. People have too much access to you through you know, their phone. That's you know, all I'm saying. I'm just saying, I don't know. As exciting as technology is, it's a little scary as well. Yeah. As to how much people can find out about you when you're in a particular place. Well, let's talk about something interesting. I mean, do you remember the Mars One project that planned to send a group of humans on a one-way mission to yes. Mars? Yes. Now, the company that backed it financially have been declared bankrupt. Now, it became very popular in South Africa when some local scientists were shortlisted as candidates a few years ago we had some of them on the show but the entire project consisted of two entities a Dutch non-profit organization called Mars One Foundation and a public company from Switzerland uh, who was called Mars One Ventures now the financial backing for the ambitious project was supposed to come from Mars One Ventures but it surfaced this week that the company had been declared bankrupt at the end of wow. January now, the whole concept has been criticized by many experts as being completely overambitious, and some people even considered the whole thing a scam because one of the main funding plans was to turn the entire journey into the world's most expensive reality TV show. The foundation claims that they are still working to move the project forward and that they will be releasing an official press release with more information. They also said that the bankruptcy affects the Mars One Ventures company and not the Mars One Foundation. Hi, shame! All those people that were excited to go and spend the rest of their lives in March. Can I just... Now Ma it's Mars. just... So Mars, yeah, but now... Because <laughs> we met, we met some of them. We did, but I would have loved to have seen that turn into a reality TV show. Wow. Scam or no scam, turn it into a reality shame. TV Imagine show. Imagine you started selling everything. Just take, take. And now, what you left with nothing. 